Hello everybody. Yes, thank you for joining us here on Facebook Live. It's myself and of course the lovely Joe Hello. Douglas from Mill Shop Online. <laughs> You're having a very busy day. I'm a busy day. I've just run from that side to this side to come and see you. So oh, this is fun. Well, this is we good. do appreciate it. Um, now then, we're going to have a fun few moments, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. So do, obviously, you can stay with us and ask questions as well. Interact through Facebook with us and we'll, we'll keep an eye on the iPad and uh, see what's going on out there. But Joe, what are we going to show everybody? So we've got one of our beautiful fabrics, the picnic spot here from the one day special that we we're doing today and this is stunning that I mean it's gorgeous. just a bit of fun that we can use in a project and we're going to show you that although this is a medium weight cotton 100% cotton it can be used for various projects from not only crafts and interiors but also a lampshade so we're oh. going to make a lampshade it's something that we've done a lot of classes at the meal shop making lampshades been yeah. very very popular so those people that can't get to the classes this is quite nice because they can have a little sneaky peek and have Amazing. a look at it. Oh, can't wait for this then. Uh, do watch, do watch closely because you could be doing this next. So what so we're going to we do, start? we've got our fabric here, so we're going to line our fabric down, face down, okay? So I'm going to move that along there. And we've got our template. You might notice that my fabric is a little bit creased. Okay. But don't yeah. worry about that. Okay. okay, that doesn't matter one little piece. So this not, is my not template. At not at all. No. Not at all. Which I like that because right. we okay. don't have to do the Fair ironing element. So we're going to take the backing off our template. Okay, he says. Wonderful. This is the tricky bit because it is sticky on one side. A lot of people, do you remember the Fablon books? I do. At school, we used yes. to stick it back plastic. <laughs> We'd do a little corner yeah. and they do this. I don't. Yeah. I just go for it. <gasps> so we just rip it all the way off, chuck that away. So you can see now. This is sticky. Uh, that's quite thick though, isn't it's it? It's quite, quite thick. sturdy. You, you feel that, Catherine. It's very sticky. It is, yeah. Very tacky. But the, be <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of it is, I'm literally just going to chuck this over and show you that it doesn't matter because I can take it back oh, off. Oh, I see. At any point right. of doing this project, we can undo everything and start okay. again. Perfect. That is it. It's not an instant permanent stick. We can start again. So if we get bored of this fabric and want to throw a new, another fabric in, we can use another really? fabric. Really? Yeah, I've done it before. Oh, wow. It's absolutely perfect for that. So we're quite lucky that we've got spots here. We're going to use our template and we're going to line up some of the spots. Okay. If you've got a sporadic design, it doesn't really matter. We can just place it down. But I think I need to try and use a bit of the spot element as a key here. So we're going to go from there to there. Okay. Okay. But if you get it slightly wrong, we've just we seen can you can it. Off. Peel it off and start again. So I said about no iron. So we don't need iron, just need our hands. Okay. So we're literally doing this, okay? All the way down. I'm gonna trim the end off so we haven't got too much here, but leave a little bit of extra in there. Okay. Just to get rid of that. Okay. And we're gonna turn our fabric over. And if you want to give me a hand, Catherine, we're gonna iron it with our hands. Oh right, okay. So we're gonna literally push it around. Do we go from the centre out? It Is that doesn't the best make way? any Does, difference. Do you know those creases are going, just disappearing, aren't they? Aren't Perfect. They? But what I have noticed, we're slightly off with our line there. See that? Oh, so we are. So, just to show you, let's take it off. Okay. Do you know I'm liking this? You like this, don't you? I do like it. And then it. we're going to start again. Okay. So I'm going to go from red to red. He says, this is where I'm concentrating. I think we're pretty close, okay. pretty close. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, so we'll turn it back over, yeah. and we'll do our ironing again. Okay. I can't believe it. It's I great, isn't it? Creases are disappearing. So all the creases out. Teamwork. Teamwork, okay. that's for sure. There we you go. Know, this is great because if you make curtains or something, you've just got a little bit of an off cut or where you've been matching exactly. patterns. You've got that. You only spare. really need just Perfect. over thirty centimeters. Yeah of that and just over a metre in width to make that lampshade so you can do a lot with half a metre of this fabric you can do a lot with it. You certainly okay. can. So what we're going to do now, we've done our ironing <laughs> without burning it. I wish it. our ironing was that easy. <laughs> well I've just done some ironing with Janice and I had to wiggle so this Did is you? quite I've nice. I've got a whole basket at home, maybe I'll go and just put this to this. Yeah. So I wonder if it'll work. I'm not no, sure. Probably not. <laughs> so we're going to turn it back over, okay, and you see the plastic template. Yeah. What you'll find with this, people do it differently, but I always find for make, I've made hundreds of lampshades, is we need to cut the fabric to size. Okay. What you're also, a, a lot of the time we've, we're told to cut along that line all the way down. I never do. Give yourself a little bit extra. So what okay. I find, you'll see in the camera there, so the thickness of my blade of my scissor, 
okay, right, okay. is a nice amount so give yourself a couple of millimeters all the way down that line extra fabric so as okay. I cut you'll see so I'm gonna literally cut through there and don't forget if you've got any questions to ask Joe you can let us know you can interact through uh, Facebook we are live right now obviously because you're watching us uh, but yes if you've got any questions or maybe you've been to one of Joe's workshops you can tell us all about it so I'm cutting all the way down the beauty of it is we're not all very good at cutting fabrics with scissors sometimes the fabrics a bit stiff it's a bit worn out we make a mistake it doesn't matter okay every single edge will be hidden Right. Which is the beauty of and this no product. Sewing machines, no, no sewing stitching. machines. So we're going to spin that round. We do exactly right. the same. So about a couple of mil extra or a scissor thickness extra fabric all the way along. That noise is nice, isn't it? Oh, I've got these scissors. You like them? I do like them. Good. There I've we got go. The whole set. The whole set. They're amazing. You... Okay. So again, we're just going to turn it round. Have a little look. Because at any point we can just see if there's any more ironing we need to do, just okay, push any of those yeah. creases out. Okay, there and there. All right. So we're going to work on one end. I always work on the left to the right. So I'm going to slide it over here. I'm going to work on this side. Okay. And I'm going to get my double sided tape. Right, okay. So okay. the red liner tape. So the red liner tape. It has a little green tab on it, but I love that because I use that as a guide for cutting because I know. When I can get it off, <laughs> I've got one here. I'll use this one. There we go. Ah. So I use this as a guide to the thickness that I need to cut. I see. Okay. okay so when we're doing this, obviously we want to cut one side in. So we're going to literally, the thickness, we're going to create twice. Okay. So I want to move that over. So it's twice the thickness. Okay. Because okay. I'm going to cut along there. Yeah. Okay. So what we've got now is our fabric here. Is our tape and we're going to run our tape from top to bottom okay as okay. close as we can to the template without actually going on the template sticking right. that down yeah okay all the way from top of the fabric to the bottom of the fabric okay. make sure yep. that is down okay the green now gives us a cutting line I see so that thickness of our tape all the way down okay do you know the actual thickness of that tape? Because in paper crafting we get different widths. That to me looks something like a, I don't know, a nine a mil. Nine mil. I would have said yeah. nine mil as well. So it's I'm going to take my green one off. A bit wider than a six mil. That's for sure. And now this is the bit that I might need help with. So we're going to peel the top layer of our tape. Oh, if you can ask me for nails, I haven't got any either. <laughs> so it will come. So sometimes if you've got a pin, that does help. Yeah. So we're going to pull that off, he says. Oh, Zoe's watching. There we go. So that layers yeah. off. Okay. And we're going to fold it over. So we're creating like a hem. I so a see. nice finished yeah. hem. What we don't want to do when we're folding over, we don't want to fold it over onto our template. Right. We're going to fold it over. So just butt up against it, creating a really nice crisp line all Lovely. the way down here. Okay. Lovely. There we go. But again, if we make a mistake, peel off. Perfect. So at any point, we can peel it off and start again. So we're ready there. We're going to do exactly the same. We're going to put our tape now right to the edge, but not overlapping the fabric. Okay. Because we don't want to see tape all the way to the end. We're going to cut that off. Wonderful. And that bit is done. <laughs> Now, I know you've got children, Joe, yeah. and I know your little girl definitely gets involved. Yeah, Lily, she does. Has she made lampshades as well? Uh, she has made one. She made a small one with me as well. Did yeah, she? yeah, Aww. she can do this kit. This is why I love this kit, because it's so achievable that any ability can have a go with it yep. and really have some fun. So we're going to spin it around, okay? okay? And this side, we don't need to do anything other than cut right against the template oh, right. now. Okay, yeah. So rich, literally run your scissors along the line of the template and we're done. Lovely. Okay. You might have noticed, and you can probably just see on camera, that there's a little scored line, top and bottom. Yeah. I don't know if you can just about can see just that. just see it on the end yeah. there, yeah. Okay, so this lovely. is where we literally are going to fold over that score line. A lot of people in my workshop say, because I like to hear a crack. Right, um, I've okay. had a few ladies Ooh. that come to the workshop and when it doesn't make that noise, they get very upset, so don't <laughs> worry. So I turn it over. Okay. And then I fold it back. Okay. 
all the way down that line so okay. it must go all the way yeah then i'll fold it turn it back over okay. and now i'll fold it in oh and now i can and hear, you're gonna hear it. that crack Ooh. it's quite satisfying all the way down if you need to go back Do you know look how neat that is as well yeah make sure that that is opened up so what will happen now is opened it up and we should be able to peel that off right okay okay yep. We don't actually need this. Oh, it's coming up under yours for that. I think we can, can't we? I'm well, I'm sure, sure we, we will. Can. So we'll do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so we'll spin it round. Okay. And we'll literally fold it over. We'll start to crack already. Yeah. I'll spin it over. Do you know, you can make these in no time at all, can't you? Well, I have been timed. Have you? Once I've made one in seven minutes. Really? Yeah. So it probably wasn't my best lampshade, but there was time. <laughs> as a bit of, bit of fun, they timed me. So we've opened that up now, so we can now pull that one off. Wonderful. There we go, like so. Get rid of that. Okay. So that side is ready for action. So what we need to work on now is our rings. So ah, these are our rings. Yep. Okay. If I give you one of those. Okay. Thank okay. You we'll much. work together. So with the rings, what we've got to realise is, are we going to use it as a lamp? Or are we going to use it as a pendant hanging from the ceiling? Oh, so it could be either. It could be right, either. Perfect. Okay. So your actual fitting needs to be internal. So we don't want to see that the outside of our lamp. Okay, we yeah. want it internally. Of course. Okay. With this design, it doesn't really matter because it's the same both sides. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So firstly, what we're going to do, we get a ring each. We've got okay. our double-sided tape that we used on the hem. I want to find the end of mine. Okay. I've got mine. You got yours. Let's go for it. That's because you handed it to me like I know. that. So I was nice. You were nice. <laughs> and we're going to get our tape, and we're literally going to run the tape okay. centrally, centrally, as close as we can, all the way down the ring, all the way around. But if it goes well, just take okay. it off yep. and start again. So we're going to work that all the way around. Okay, when we get to the other end and we join it together, this is a teamwork, this is, isn't it? This is. Would have been better if I brought my glasses. But never mind. <laughs> I think I'm all right. You're okay. <laughs> so I'm going to literally overlap by about a centimetre on the other end when I get to the other end. Okay. So the tape crosses the, the tape, you the mean? The tape over the tape, yeah. There we go. I've got my scissors, so when you're ready, give me a shout. See, I can tell you've done this before, Joe. Oh, I don't know. You're much quicker than me. <laughs> Or maybe it's just that you can see better than me. <laughs> You're doing a good job. <laughs> right, okay. I so. can see the concentration there, Catherine. As well. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we are. Yep. So we've got our tape on there. I'll pop them away so I don't hurt myself. And then what we're going to do, I like to call this kneading. Okay. So we're literally going to, without putting pressure on the ring, we're going to squeeze. Oh, right, okay. The tape. So it goes all the way. It's not going to go all the way round the ring, no. but as long as it's all the way down. But so because we it's a it. red liner tape, it's nice and sticky. It is going to hold. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love this project is because at any point we can put this down and come back to it. So oh, if we're watching yeah, Coach Under at home, watching a little demo, we need to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> or we so need a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> then we can put it down and we can come back to it. Obviously, we wouldn't do that now because that's not very fair, no, is it? No, it's so. not Joe, so behave yourself. You can't dash off. No. <laughs> I know you're quite desperate. I, I did say, didn't I, when I came in, I think I need to go for a wee, but we're okay. Don't worry. <laughs> so there we go. I've, I've literally oh, needed dear. it all the way around. I think Zoe's still watching. She's probably fallen off a chair now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Joe needs a wee. <laughs> He's told the whole Facebook Live. <laughs> Good? That's it. Yeah, yeah all done. done so nice and simple. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, okay, we're going to spin our template round. Okay. Okay, so we're working from left to right again. Yeah. And because this is the tricky bit that I find, we're going to find the end of our tape, okay, and we've got to try and take the top layer off. Oh, now I've got to remember which way it overlapped. <laughs> oh, there it is. This is the bit that takes the time. Okay, I just about got that there. So, like I say, if you've got a pin, that sometimes helps. I need this but for my craft van, Joe. This is I good. I need a, a lamp or two. Well, this this would be nice. This I've, one. I've done mine. Have you got you've yours? done yours? Oh. Yeah, look. I'm too busy thinking about our conversation previously. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think I've got it. There oh, we go. We've got uh, Cassie there watching we as well. Oh, and Zoe's laughing. Zoe's laughing. Mm. I need to come with. Thank <laughs> right, you, Zoe. Take it all the way off. Yeah. So all the way off. Where the fold was, just yep. make sure that's stuck back down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we've got two sticky rings. We have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to pop them down. It doesn't matter because we haven't got any dirt on our top. Okay, just pop that one down there. Okay. That one obviously we can put there, but they are tacky. Yeah. But again, we can pick them up. It doesn't okay. really matter. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to work with our fabric. Okay. So well, actually, probably easier if I do it this way around for the camera, to be honest. Okay. So this is where, if you've got two of you, it actually does help. Okay. So like I said, the mechanism, so the lamp fitting has to be internal because yeah. we don't want that sticking out because no. it doesn't look great. Okay. So we're going to get both our rings. Okay. We're going to pop on the end. So if I bring that in the centre there, okay. And what I find, if I just move it down a little bit, I'm just going to literally fold the bit of fabric over just so you can uh, keep it there yeah. for a little so minute. It's got a grip. So you've got to get, get the second ring, okay. I'm doing exactly the same there. Oh, now I see why it helps to have two it people. It does help to have two or very large hands. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing exactly the same there. Okay. okay. So I'm going to spin this round. Okay. okay. So all I'm doing now is the key is to keep our rings off the template. So as close as we can to the template. Okay, yeah. Okay. But we're going to, at the same time, so like patting your head and rubbing your tummy, <laughs> we're going to move these at the same time okay. all the way down. Okay. Oh, and but look at that. If it goes wrong, start again. Okay, you can pull yeah. it off. Okay. So it's just keeping it steady, keeping, so an keeping eye it on steady. That Once it gets halfway, outline. it is nice and easy. Oh, Pauline says we're doing a good job. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you, Pauline. <laughs> Okay, so then we oh, can spin it around. Oh, actually, no, she doesn't. She says Catherine's doing a good job. Oh, Catherine's doing That's a good job, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Catherine. Hi, Joe. You're doing a good job, okay. Catherine. Oh. She said. I think she means Catherine. Yeah, well, you were quicker at getting the tape. I was a bit, so. wasn't I? That, so, that's a first, though. Being I, do, I do struggle getting this uh, red line of tape I do. back enough. Being a man, I quite like the fact that, yes, it's not finished, but straight away, if I hold that up, it's look starting to look that. like a lampshade, it isn't it? It certainly is. Okay, so we've got the workings to do now. Yep. But you remember at the start we did our tape. Yes. Okay. So you can see here, this is where we need to take that layer off. This is the last bit of tape, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I love the fact that you can so easily change the fabric. Yeah, just pull it all off and start again. You could okay. have a different lampshade for every season. You could, yeah. Okay, so we've got our tape there. We're going to pop it on the bench, okay, onto that end, and we'll get our thumb and rub our, rub our thumb on the inside all okay, the way down, yeah. okay. So, what you'll there. find now, if we turn around for shot, you can see there if the camera's on us. That's super neat. Okay, super, super neat. neat. You don't see any raw edges, you've got that perfect little line running down there, it's like a hem. You know, and that's worked beautifully with the fabric that you've uh, chosen as well. That, that the was distance just a guess, between. To be that, but that is great. <laughs> so we're almost there, aren't we? We're we almost are. there. So we've got little tool. The best little bit of tool in all these lampshade kits you get is a little plastic piece. Oh. Like a guitar yeah. plectrum, isn't it? it? Is. So you have one of those. It's a rather large guitar, though, <laughs> I've got to say. That. So all we're actually using on this, though, yeah. if we can, probably the overhead will get this. Okay, when I'm actually using this, I'm only using the front inch of the curve. Okay, uh, so that front inch yeah. there. I'm not using this bit, I'm not using anything else, and I'm holding it so it's quite rigid. Perfect. Because if it's too floppy, yeah. it's not going to work. Okay. All right, so nice and rigid. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm literally going to put it, see where the fabric is now, we can fold them over a little bit. Okay. So just work it round. Yeah. So it's nice all the way round. Okay. That is so neat. In fact, Sarah's saying great lampshade. Pauline's saying looks a good lampshade. It certainly does, Pauline, and it's getting better and better. Dead easy for an octopus, said Zoe Marsh. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you do need that, those hands. So we're going to pop it down. <laughs> and with the lovely overhead shot now, you'll see I've got my plastic tool ready. Okay, I'm just there, just and slightly. there we there. go, okay. and then I'm going to, it's hard to sort of see on yeah. shot, but what we do, we flick the fabric over, and then we push it in the ring itself, 
Okay. Perhaps if you come my way a little, a little bit, bit, you might have to sit a little bit better. There, there we go. go. So we're literally pushing it over and we're working Very it clever. all the way around. It's all about that motion of working around the ring itself. So yeah. we push the fabric over and we work it in. And that is why we leave that little bit of extra fabric just yeah. in case. We can always okay. trim it, but if you haven't got enough to push behind the actual lamp ring itself, then obviously it's not going to be a nice finish. Okay. Obviously when you've got your fold over, there's a little bit more fabric to work with. But literally, is that motion. Sometimes yeah. your arm starts to ache, leave it, come back to it. That is do a the great more, thing, as you said does. earlier. Yeah. You don't have to do it all in one go. You don't do you know, have I'm to do thinking it in one about go. what Zoe said there as well, and I think maybe it's a family project. There yeah, you go. definitely. You've got enough pairs of hands then. In the workshop that we've done in the past, we all sort of muck in and help because yeah. sometimes it is that element of, you know, just holding the rings together. Can we do it? It is simple to do, but it is just following the processes and getting it just nice, but at any point you can start again. So I'm almost done there with the, the uh, one side. So I'm just making sure on any loose threads, I can slide them all in, okay? We're just about there. If we turn it over, okay, you can start oh, to see now, that that's nice and neat. That is okay. gorgeous. So it's nice and that yeah, way a little yeah. bit. Just have a look at that. That is perfect. So it's shop finished lampshade. It really, it is. really is. I'm impressed, Joe. The one thing to work on when we're doing it, we're going to do the other side now as well, is not to apply too much pressure to the lamp when you're doing okay, it. It's yeah. easily done because we lean on it because what it will it will start to bellow out a okay, little bit. Yeah. Okay. It will come back eventually. Okay. So we do exactly the same. We just work our fabric round. Okay. All the way round. You will notice on this side you've got your lamp fit in. So you do have to get your scissors out for a little snip. Okay, okay. yes, where those uh, So prongs where the actual are. prongs are. So I'll get my little scissors and I'm literally going to snip directly central to that prong. You can use uh, bigger scissors, you don't have to use so small They're your little mine. scissors, Joe. I'd hate to see your <laughs> large scissors. There we go. <laughs> so that, fold those down. Okay, and then we're going to turn it over again. I'm going to get that motion again. So it is that motion that we're doing. So we're grabbing the fabric with it and we're literally pushing it in to the actual ring itself. Do you like pinks? I do Lilacs? like pinks, yeah. Would you like a lampshade? Uh, yes. I think we need to have this lampshade. Can we? I really? That yeah. can go in my craft <laughs> It's part, and you didn't know this, this is its second sort of colours. Is it? going to be inside, oh, there yeah. There you go, you see. That make, I better make sure it's really good now. <laughs> yes, you better do. What if better I need a pair, So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that being greedy? Yeah. All right then. Might do. I might have. <laughs> I've got another kit. I'm sure we could do something. Okay, so we're literally just working that around as well. So. Amazing. It's taking my mind off going for a wee as well, so we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, who are watching. If anybody knows me, they know I've got a very weak blood, or so. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So just getting in the corners there, making sure those threads are done. But again, rest. You okay. know, rest, yeah. because it is hard. I mean, I've, I've had carpal tunnel release on both my wrists, so you can see the scars actually there. Oh. And every now and again, I oh, get a bit achy, a bit tired. Yeah. So just rest them, come back to it, get the tool out. Okay, and you might come back to this in a week's time. Go, oh, there's a thread there. Get your tool out, yep. and just push that thread in, and make sure it's all in there. Amazing. Okay, so instantly there, we're going to flip it over. Okay, there's a few threads there. Let's have a little look. Get them in because obviously, this, if you're going to put this up, it needs to be perfect, isn't it? It so. does because it's going to make. <laughs> Okay. You haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, I, have you? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> smiling and thinking, yeah, that's, this, this craft line it's sounds good. It's a little vintage caravan that Lovely. I'm doing up as a little workroom. Perfect. Little craft room. Can, can I come and visit? Can I come and visit your craft along? You would, you could. Do you know, it's not going on the road, Is this it not? one. It's not? No, it's going to my garden. Fun, but then. if I get to finish it as quickly as I'd like, yeah. which it's not going to be that speedy, but I would love to do it again with the yeah. one that I can... Travel round. Mm. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't yeah. it? In the car park at Ho Chandler. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Save so my hotels, please. What we've got there, we've got obviously any loose threads, we can still tuck them in. There's another little bit there. So just check it, just go over it, yeah. have another little look at them. 
okay so I'm literally just sliding it around using that motion and then I think we're pretty much there aren't I we? am really impressed with that Joe. so then instantly I think that's amazing whether we need a little uh, hat <laughs> or a lampshade we've got a beautiful lampshade as good as any because you years ago we used to go to the big department stores and yeah. you could pick a lampshade couldn't we Definitely, they're not yeah. around now I know but the beauty is you can choose any fabric obviously this is one of the yeah. one day special fabrics a beautiful fabric to use it's a little bit heavier than your usual fabrics but it still works exactly the same I love that hand dining as well and in fact Pauline's saying it's a good family project to do what a good tutorial Joe so clever. thank you Thank you very Thank you, much. Pauline. Um, you make it look so easy. Love the look of the material. That's from Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. So, of course, one day special here with Joe throughout today. Uh, what time is it now? The final call's at 5 o'clock, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. So, just one more to go. Yeah. Just one yes, more. Yes, so if you haven't caught those, please do keep an eye on them. Zoe says, lovely. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. Yes, thank you for your interaction. Hopefully, you'll all have a go yourselves as well. Uh, you don't need any octopuses, though. No, you don't. No. <laughs> Do you know, I'm really, really impressed. Well, that's with yours, that. Catherine. Seriously. Yeah, honestly, that's for oh, you. There thank we go. You, Joe. you need to have a treat. Oh, thank you so much. Do you know, I'm really impressed with that, and I'm going to go home and try hand ironing all my clothes now. <laughs> Don't think it'll work. Joe, we're almost out of time now, yeah. and we're going to let you go off and have thank a you. week. Have a week. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Take everyone. See Bye. us next time. Bye-bye.